Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I literally have like thrown a hat on because my hair is disgusting. I've got my read books and fight the patriarchy and my new cute freaking adorable Tevas that if you haven't seen my most recent shop with me video with my mom and Tatum you can see how I got those on sale nonetheless. Um, but I'm coming to you today because we are going to go shopping in Oklahoma City and we're going to hit up lots of really cute local OKC staple stores. I've got a couple things I want to get for my mom to complete a birthday gift I'm getting her that is pretty epic. And I want to look for some home stuff because this bedroom that we're currently in is getting redone. Well, I'm doing a makeover on it. I, I'm going to try to stick to a $500 budget. So it's not going to be like totally transformed, but it is going to look different than it currently looks because I'm just sick of it and I want it to be cute and stylish in here and not just like very simple, very boring. So I'm going to take you along with me because all these shops in Oklahoma City, like locally owned, so cute, so fun, really great shopping. So let's go. Okay, first stop, we are at Shop Good, which is my mom's favorite store in Oklahoma City. You've been to it with us before. It's so cute. Let's go. Okay, so I did not talk a lot in this shop because it was so quiet. The music was playing so, so, so quiet. And there were like hardly any people. It was just the workers. And so I felt super awkward like talking about their store to my phone. So just enjoy these little, you know, casual shots of what the store has. And I mean, it is so freaking cute. Look at that plant section. Too bad I kill every plant I own. I love their jewelry section, which is coming up. This is a cute little bar section. This is just the cutest shop. They do so many fun, like liberal fabulous shirts they do so many like Oklahoma shirts my mother owns all of them I'll link the vlog here where she bought them all so you can see but I just love 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 this store it has the most unique stuff okay and here's the jewelry section my favorite section at this store it just has the most dainty unique pieces I love it they have the cutest tiny tiny tiniest little rings and necklaces and they have the best greeting cards. So creative, so liberal. I love it. Okay, next store is literally just like right down the street from Shopgood. It's called Plenty Mercantile and it has the freaking cutest shit, you guys. Let's go in. I mean, just like really look at this store. Like it is just the flipping cutest. Look look at that. There's jellyfish in the window. Are you kidding me? So freaking cute. And they're open. Let's go. Look at this. It is the freaking cutest. I love this section. Because look, it's doggy stuff. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? It's a Mary Poppins umbrella. Oh my god. Hello. Well, look at this bag. Oh, I love it. It's recycled. It's just like the freaking cutest. Well, look at those socks. Look at that. So cute. Oh, can't even. Literally cannot even. I'm sorry. I need these. Look at all the stickers. So cute. Look, they have Enneagram stickers. I'm totally getting an eight. They have the cutest jewelry here. Oh, look at that necklace. What? Look at those little earrings. And they're all like, you know, made sustainable and crap. Like, awesome. Freaking love this place. Oh my gosh. Just like the coolest, most unique things. Like look, this is like a little thingy you make. Like what? I mean, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then look at this. 
home section. Okay, that is like seriously the cutest store ever. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now we are at my favorite store in Oklahoma City. Out on a limb. I know you've been here with me so many times, so let's go. Let's go in. Okay, it is like plant central in here, even more than it normally is. There are plants everywhere up here. Oh, look at that bug pillow, so cute. I already found something I want. Look at this, so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at the cat glasses, my sister needs those. Okay, once again, it just got a little awkward in there because I was the only one and the music seemed super loud in the video, but it was actually not that loud in the store. Please look at that cup that says, maybe today Satan. Oh my God, so funny. And these are my perfect dish towels because they're all about burning the kitchen down. Hilarious, right? So as you saw, the first half of the store was basically Plant City, but this back half is more their like clothing, shoes, accessories section, and I love it. I always find super cute tops fun hats like they just have the best stuff and super comfy too look at this shirt you'll see it later okay i got a lot of stuff out on the limb so i think it's gonna be haul time when we get home but right now we're gonna transition away from more local stores into <laughs> west elm my addiction so let's go to west elm and we might pop in anthropology too because it's right next door if we have time and this is to more look for like home stuff so let's go and stay tuned for the haul at the end In we go. They close soon, so I need to hurry. Okay, that's freaking cute. Okay, these pillows are pretty darn close to what I'm looking for. For my vibe. I love the bedroom section. It's my favorite. Look at that light. Incredible. Incredible. Um, look how freaking adorable that is for a little baby room. Oh my gosh. It's $24. Oh my god. I am so tempted to buy that. But I'm not going to. Because I'm not having a child anytime soon. Okay, so that was kind of a bus trip, actually. I found a couple things, like, for inspiration, but nothing that I was like, ooh, I need this right now. I'm gonna, you know, dip into my budget to buy. So, off to Anthro now. Um, I'm obsessed with this chair. light fixture. Look at that rug. I'm obsessed with this section, but Anthro is so expensive. Like, insanely expensive for homeware. It's kind of ridiculous. Now I'm just getting distracted by clothes. Oh my gosh, those are freaking cute. Okay, well, that was also a bust. Not really anything cute in there home-wise that I was like, yes, this is perfect for what I need, so. And not super cute clothes. Nothing that like totally pulled me and was like, you have to try this on right now, so. Okay, I guess this is just the voiceover vlog because I forgot to say we're going to Bath & Body next, but hey, we're going to Bath & Body next, so let's go. Mmm, candles. Okay, these are the ones I like, the gel, but they only have them in like boring scents. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the new fall scents. Look how cute this design is. Okay, we get some more new wall buildings too. All right, there you go. You have Thank a good one. Thank you so much, you too. Um, I bought some crap. Let's go home, I'll show you what I got. Okay, let me show you what I got. Let's go, we'll do Shop Good first. So at Shop Good, all I got, right, was the shirt for my mom. 
It's a really cool color that she will love. It says Stronger Together. We both have a shirt like this, um, but hers, okay, how it says, um, be brave and spread love right there. The earlier versions of <laughs> this shirt had circles or little circles around those just design wise. But my mom has that shirt and where they fall, you can just like use your imagination and interpret why she doesn't wear that shirt anymore because they look kind of inappropriate. So the one I have, she's super jealous of because it doesn't have the circles. So I'm making her a little gift basket with a bunch of her favorite things in it. So I got her a new <laughs> Stronger Together shirt that um, doesn't have, you know, suggestive circles in a spot where there shouldn't be suggestive circles. Okay, and then it out on a limb, I was so flipping excited, you guys. Look what I found. Look at this. So it is the bracking cutest insulated mug it's not the same brand as my walmart one but like it looks legit identical just a different pattern like legit this is identical it's so weird but this one was not 15 dollars like it is at walmart it was 35 dollars this basin mug brand must be like a super amazing um brand but oh my gosh i almost screamed when i saw this in the store and i i just had to snatch it up like there was just no other option um also went out on a limb i got this okay this is an also another one i couldn't resist it is a black boyfriend tee it's supposed to be super oversized just like amazing um comfy i'm gonna throw it on right now it's just like a completely shapeless like big black t-shirt it is so comfy it just kind of looks shapeless and ridiculous they call it a boyfriend tee and oh my gosh i'm obsessed <laughs> okay also last two things from out on a limb i could not resist i got this cute little guy sticker that says nope because i say that all the time and then oh my gosh you guys i got this one it says lady whistle down society papers oh how freaking cute such like miley stickers i love it so that's all from out on a limb and then the next couple stores i hit were total duds and i didn't get anything but let me just tell you i ended strong with a hardcore bath and body haul i have two bags worth here um i got a bunch of little wall scent things i won't tell you every single one of them i got but i bought 10 and I bought just like fall scents because they had them out. My go-to fall scents are cinnamon stick, but I have a bunch of cinnamon sticks still. Um, champagne toast is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body scents. And pumpkin clove is really good too. Um, so I got a bunch of kind of fall scents, but I won't bore you with those details. And then I got soap. They had six for 27, I think. So, um, and they had these cute new designs on them. Look how fun that little design is. I got Sun Washed Citrus, two of those, right? And then I got Garden Harvest. That one's super cute. Then I got, this one smelled so good, Blackberries and Basil. Mm, love it. And then I got two of the gel. The gel soap is my favorite at Bath & Body, but they tend to not make it in exciting flavors. Um, but they had two in Champagne Toast, which is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body um, scents. So I got the gels in those two at least. So that's my haul. Hope you had fun watching this conglomeration of more local OKC fun at the beginning and then transitioning to more, you know, normal stores. So let me know down below if you want to see more videos like this. Don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out and I will see you in the next one. Bye!